Hey everyone, in this video I just want to talk a little bit about a fair and just culture when we're talking investigations. It's obviously a big topic and it's been interesting sort of traveling uh, into North America a couple of weeks ago and talking to people there uh, and looking at the differences certainly here in Australia versus how things are often done in, in other companies and, and other countries around the world. Uh, we certainly see a lot of it here where we get phone calls uh, from people that are asking for assistance with investigations. And uh, when I start talking to them and engaging about uh, having access to people and, and documentation and, and other things like that, um, I'm often told, oh, you can have access to everyone except that person, we've sacked them already. Okay, where's the fair and just culture? Why have we terminated them? Why have we already um, gone down this disciplinary path uh, before we've even completed an investigation? Um, so let's talk fair and just culture. Um, I was looking this morning and uh, was looking for definitions and so forth and I found this one I'm just going to read to you which I thought was quite good. Um, it's defined as an environment of trust and fairness where it's safe to report and learn from mistakes and system flaws. It's where we're clear about the difference between human error in complex systems and intentional unsafe acts. Um, I like that definition. I think that's really good. This one's actually from a, from a health organisation uh, which is looking at hospitals and things like that. Um, let's break it down a bit. So it recognises normal human error and has systems in place to deal with those those errors. Um, you know, is it a blatant uh, disregard for processes and so forth, or are people doing what they're doing because there's a deficiency in the systems and, and processes that we have in the organisation? Um, a fair and just culture has a high level of trust and a high level of safety awareness. So there's trust on both sides. You know, there's trust that, that employees will do the right thing. But on the flip side, there's trust that employees can raise issues and concerns without ramifications. Um, and that they, you know, there may well be an incident occurs, but there's not a ramification where they're going to be terminated or something if it's, if it's actually not something that they've done in, uh, wrong in terms of a, a blatant disregard for, for processes. Um, a fair and just culture supports learning from unsafe acts and it encourages the sharing of safety information. Um, I think those last two are really big. Uh, we come across a lot of organisations that undertake investigations. Uh, many are done under legal professional privilege and unfortunately at the end of the, the uh, investigations, the outcomes are not shared. Uh, so there's no learning at all from them. Um, that really concerns me. You know, how do we pre um, educate staff? How do we prevent recurrence if we're actually not talking about what happened? Um, you know, if we're concerned about LPP, you know, we can still talk about um, high level uh, nature of the incident and so forth without compromising the LPP and just talking about how we can prevent recurrence and so forth. But, you know, I just, I see repeatedly that organisations are not learning and there's been many, many, many books written on, the, on that article, sorry, on that topic, I should say, um, about why we don't learn and so forth. Look, I'm curious on your thoughts, you know, where does fair and just culture fit within an organisation? Um, why are we resistive to it? Why do, do many organisations go down the path of disciplinary action before an investigation is complete? Or, or why do we always hear on media, human error, human error, you know, constantly it's been flouted as that's what's happened, human error. We blame the human for everything. Why is that? You know, why are we not looking at the organisation? Why are we not looking at the culture? Why are we not looking at systems and processes? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for your time.